It can be really intimidating when you are starting or thinking about starting a YouTube channel to look at all of those bigger YouTubers with all of their amazing cameras and their lighting setups and their microphones and think to yourself, I could never afford that, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the cheap or free alternatives to some of those really expensive things that you think you might need. We're gonna be taking a look at things that you can use around your house and hopefully getting you on the track to starting a YouTube channel. Now one of the first and most expensive pieces of equipment that you're probably thinking about when you start a YouTube channel is the camera. Some of the more popular cameras that YouTubers use are things like the Sony ZV-1 or the Canon PowerShot G7X. Now both of these cameras are going to set you back six, seven hundred pounds plus. And whilst they may be lovely to have, they are definitely not a necessity when you are just starting out. Using your mobile phone is a great way to start before investing in a very expensive camera. The cameras on mobile phones nowadays are incredible compared to what they used to be. I'm filming this entire video on an iPhone 12 so that you guys can see that you can get great quality from your phone. Just to know, Every single thing that I mentioned today, I will link down below, whether that is the more expensive paid stuff or links to where you can find the free stuff and the alternatives that you can use. All of that will be down in the description box below. Now, another big thing that you're probably thinking about as a YouTuber is you'll see many YouTubers use ring lights like I'm using right now, or they'll have box lights. Some of them may even use a smaller attachment that goes directly onto a camera or a phone. All of those are fantastic for filming, but all of those also cost money. If you don't have any artificial lights, the next best thing to use, or in fact, probably the best thing to use, is natural light. Now, of course, there are disadvantages to this. If it's a sunny day and the clouds are coming in and out, it can affect the lighting, which can affect your video. And of course, if it's a day, just like it is today, where it's overcast and gray, you might not get enough natural light in to do the job. And so another option is, as you can probably see behind me, is to use YouTube. Now you can see here that on YouTube, I made a simple search for screen ring light and it's come up with lots and lots of different videos. God bless those people that put things on YouTube that seem very random, but are actually very useful. You can choose between an actual ring light shape or you can just select a video that has a pure white screen and adjust the brightness on your TV settings or on your computer or your laptop, whatever it is you're using until you get the desired effect. So you've chosen your lighting source. You've decided whether you're using a camera or a phone. And now you're probably thinking about where you're going to place your filming equipment. Now the obvious paid options are things like tripods. You can also get table mounted arms, which are great if you're trying to film an overhead shot, if you want to film yourself writing, for example. Now the tripods and those table mounts are probably gonna set you back anywhere between probably 15 and 25 pounds each, depending on where you get them from and what quality you get. Now, of course, there is a very obvious and cheap option, and that is just use what you have around the house. Stack books on top of each other and place your phone against them. If you are using a large window as your light source, place the phone on the windowsill so the light comes flooding in past the phone. You may need to get a little bit creative if you are trying to get angled shots, but if you're filming straight on, leaning your camera against a stack of books or board games or your windowsill will work perfectly fine. Now, when it comes to microphones, this is going to be one of the most important decisions that you make when it comes to your YouTube channel. Audio quality is one of viewers' biggest bugbears. Lots of people nowadays will watch YouTube with headphones in, or they'll put on a YouTube video while they're doing other things and just listen to it. So if the sound quality is bad, that was one of the things that will make your viewers turn off. Right now, I am using the Blue Yeti. Let me see if I can pick it up. <laughs> there we go. That is the microphone that I use. And to buy one of these brand new, you're probably looking at around 120 pounds. Now, I didn't pay that for mine. I chose to get a refurbished Blue Yeti. Refurbished items are generally where somebody has bought something brand new, something didn't work, they sent it back to the manufacturer who then fixes it or 
sells it to somebody else who fixes it and then they sell it for a cheaper price. So I think that I, I believe that I paid around 80 pounds for this microphone. It came in with all the original packaging. It came with the original leads. I don't know what was wrong with it before, but when I got it, it was working perfectly. So don't be afraid to look out for refurbished products. Just make sure that you buy them from reliable businesses that give you the same warranties as if you had bought brand new. Top tip because this one caught me out. If you are thinking of buying a Blue Yeti microphone and using it with an iPhone, make sure that you buy uh, the correct adapter because it doesn't come, well, it, it didn't when I bought mine anyway. It, the Blue Yeti is a USB lead and so obviously it didn't fit straight into my iPhone. So make sure that you have, uh, I'm gonna have to look at this one. Make sure that you have the USB OTG adapter so that you can use it straight away because I didn't and um, yeah, that caught me out. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna link all of this down below so you can just click on it and go and have a look. You may already have one lying around or you may need to get one, but either way, all the information is gonna be down in the description box for you. Let's talk editing software then. One of the most well-known and well-used editing software packages is Final Cut Pro. And you've probably heard some of your favorite YouTubers talk about using that. Um, that is a Mac product and that is a paid product, which is pretty expensive if it didn't come with your system. But there are a lot of free options out there that are fantastic for when you are just starting out. Now, of course, if you are looking for your videos to be Marvel quality masterpieces, then these free options are probably not going to cut it. But for the vast majority of YouTubers starting out, these are fantastic. If you are an Apple user, you can go for iMovie, which is a free app to download, and that will allow you to do a basic edit of a YouTube video. A similar product for a Windows user would be the Windows Video Editor. And just like iMovies, that is a free basic editing package. Other popular free editing software includes DaVinci Resolve. I personally use VSDC because I can edit my videos, I can add transitions, I can add titles, and most importantly, at the end, when I come to export those videos, there are no watermarks on that video. Remember, when you are starting out, do not compare where you are on your journey to anybody else. Do not compare the quality of your first video to the quality of a YouTuber who has millions of subscribers and has been doing this for years and years. In fact, one of my favorite things to do is when I find a channel that I like, I go back to their oldest video and I like to see what kind of videos they were making then, what was the quality like back then? Because then to be able to see their progress over the years is so inspirational if you are just starting out. So I hope that you've got some tips from this and that you have you can see that you don't need to spend a fortune when you're first starting out. Use what you have around the house, use your phone, use natural lighting. And the most important thing is just start creating content. Just learn as you go and improve along the way. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, stick around, give this video a thumbs up because it really helps small channels like mine. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.